hello students now we are going to discuss about the movement of force so moment means it is the product of force applied and its perpendicular distance so let us define the moment first it is the product of force applied and its perpendicular distance so moment can be defined as it is the product of force applied and its perpendicular distance so let us see the moment with the help of a simple diagram so let us take a force f is acting on a body let this point is o and its perpendicular distance is let us say d now the moment m with respect to the point o is equal to force applied into its perpendicular distance d we know force unit is newton distance unit is meter so the units for the moment are newton meters now in this case because of application of this force so it will rotate in clockwise so the body will rotate in clockwise so we say this as a clockwise moment so clockwise moment we are taking as a positive sign when we solve the problem now the second type of the moment is anti clockwise moment so let us see the anti clockwise moment let a force f applied in the upward direction let us say its distance is d perpendicular distance is d then the body will move in the upward direction so it creates a anti clockwise movement or counter clockwise movement now the moment with respect to o is equal to force into its perpendicular distance d and anti clockwise moment will take as a negative now the units are same newton meter and it is a counter clockwise moment or anti clockwise moment so these are the two types of moments are available and this is the moment of the force we are talking about moment of now coming to its applications moment applications so moment is useful to protect any body what is the purpose of moment the application of moment or the purpose of moment moment is to 
rotate is to rotate any object. Now let us take some example problems in a moment. Problem is determine moments at all points for the figure shown below. So the given diagram is so this is the given problem. Let us calculate moments at all points. Let us solve this problem. Now, so first let us calculate moment of the force at point A. So we know moment equal force into perpendicular distance. So there is a force 10 newtons into its perpendicular distance is 2. So 10 into 2 that is 20 newton meter and it is a clockwise. So it is a clockwise moment. Now similarly at point B the force is 10 newtons into the perpendicular distance of this force from B is 0 because the force and point B both are in the same line the perpendicular distance is 0. So the total moment will be 0 Newton meter and these are the answers. Determine moments Movement of force at all points for the figure given below. Now the diagram is given. So this point given as A, this length 2 meter and this is point B, its length is 5 meter. Its length is 2 meter given and its length is 3 meter. Then there is a force at uh, point C acting vertically downward and that force is 30 newtons. Now its length is 1 meter, this point is. Now the question is, he is asking to determine movement of force at all points for the given diagram. So let us solve this problem. Now, first let us calculate moment at point 
k. Now there is a force 30 newton into its perpendicular distance. Perpendicular distance of this force from this point A. This distance is 3. So 30 into 3 that is 90 Newton meter and with respect to A it will create a clockwise moment. Now let us calculate movement at B that is 30 into its perpendicular distance 3 90 Newton meter clockwise then movement at point C that is 30 into the perpendicular distance from this force to C is 0 so it will create a 0 Newton meter then movement at D 30 into perpendicular distance 0 so here also the movement is 0 Newton meter